What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about this that's got me so upset this morning, and that is LeBron James saying Tom Brady is not the greatest athlete of all time. One, he's right. Tom Brady isn't the greatest athlete of all time. He's the most accomplished athlete of all time. If you want to put it that way, he's the most accomplished athlete of all time. So if you want to look at it that way, you can look at it that way. I say from what he was facing and what he went up against, he's the most accomplished athlete. Because if you're looking at athlete of all time, are you talking athletics? Because if you're talking athletics, then you you got to be talking Bo Jackson. You got to be talking about Deion Sanders. But to me, nobody was more athletic than, than Bo Jackson. Bo can do it. Any sport, anything. He was a freak of nature. Now, when you talk about what LeBron's talking about, he's talking about media, social media. He's so hooked into what's going on on the internet and what they talk about on Sports Center when Brady won. He's thinking about himself. He thinks he's greater than Tom Brady because, you know, I play offense and I got to play defense. You know, I'm playing on both sides of the ball. That's the sport you're playing. But to even address this as a conversation to have even in a barbershop and you're a professional basketball player, you should say, look, these are two different sports. You, there's no way you can even make the comparisons. But trying to say because you play off, well, you really don't even play defense. You're getting blown by every Kevin Durant's embarrassing you every time he's out there. So you're not really playing defense. You're just participating. <laughs> you're on defense because the other team got the ball. But you could take breaks. You can not be involved in the play. The quarterback has to get the ball 99% of the time. You know, that 1% time they hike it straight to the running back. The ball goes through his hands on offense 99% of the time. Everybody's coming to hit him. He has to make decisions right there, switches and reads. People are blitzing, 280-pound linemen blitzing in to hit him. If anybody touch you on the court, you're crying, flopping all over the floor. Let's see how great you're going to be when you get hit by one of these 280-pound linemen or 300-pound linemen, diving at your legs and knees. But you want to take the part about Tom Brady not being athletic. He's smarter. Sure, he's not going to run fast. He ain't got the strongest arm in the NFL. But he's precise. He's setting records completion-wise of any quarterback in the, in the history of the game. Never seen this type of accuracy with lesser. Montana had basically the same unit around him his entire career. Brady's done it with guys that played lacrosse. <laughs> He's taking them and winning Super Bowls with these guys. That's something Montana never done. Now, we're going to go even deeper. LeBron James has always deferred in the championship moments to somebody else. He's known for it. He's known for copping out. He's known for, for bailing. And if they lose here to this team, his excuse is, well, they're a superpower. They're just too good. So with Atlanta Falcons, did, did Brady say we can't? Well, they're just too good. We can, There's nothing we can do. They went and they achieved their goal. Now what is this whole thing going to be like? Well, but we had to play them. We got to play the best of four. They only got to win one game. So how could he be the greatest athlete of all times? We got to play somebody four times. That's going to be his next argument because he's trying to lobby for himself 
to be included as greatest athlete of all time. And he's not even close. Because what is he basing this on? They changed the league for you. You have no post game. They removed post game out of the entire sport of basketball. You see nobody posting up no more in the paint. They took it all out. They cleared the lanes so that people could score a high amount of points. They just basically dissolved traveling because LeBron James travels all the time. So why even call it? Let it go. We just want the game to be fast. We want it up pace. We want all these points. And that's what it is. But to even speak Tom Brady's name, the man got five Super Bowls. Do you think winning an NBA championship is harder than winning the Super Bowl? You know how many people win a Super Bowl consecutively? It's a very rare occasion. It's very difficult to do. Players' duration with a team is about three years. Three, four years tops, even the best, before they have to go somewhere. The contracts in the NFL are not designed for these new age players and for a player to stay with a team long because the injury rate is so high that they can't risk giving you a max contract for so long until you've actually proven something. So you can have a contract that's worth like 20 some odd million get hurt, and then end up with nothing, almost. You won't even get a quarter of that money. So, to me, the greater risk and less reward is football. And people think Tom Brady got a plush career or plus, plush, man, he got to eat a quarterback. That's the toughest position to play. Look how many quarterbacks are revolved every year in football. Every draft, it's a draft of quarterbacks. People are taking quarterbacks with the number one picks. They're always going to be a, a whole list for quarterbacks. Everybody, every year is changing it up, trying to find that one that can get the job done. And when you got them, you got to stick with them because they're hard. They're hard to come by. So I agree and disagree with LeBron. I think Bo Jackson is the greatest athlete I've seen. Uh, many, many say Joe Brown. Uh, Randy Moss is a great athlete. Like Michael Jordan, it's even said he wasn't the most athletic in, in the sports. It was people more athletic than him. But statistically, they didn't perform better than Michael Jordan. They weren't even close. So what are we really talking about here? Like being more in shape and, you know, doing all these CrossFit stuff or what are they talking about? So I don't understand, like, LeBron. It just lets me know how much he's really into stats really into headlines and being an ESPN and he don't want to be looking bad. And when Brady won, he was comparing him to, you know, Braun and all that stuff. So just lets you know all that stuff go to his head so much to even bring that up in some little barbershop talk. And why is Draymond even there? It's like, what are you doing hanging around this dude, man? I mean, I, I know it's the off season, y'all buddies and I, like, I don't like that. This is the guy I'm going against every year. And we buddy-buddy and all that stuff. I'll be like, man, do the game. Don't even talk to me. You are the enemy. So this game is over. I don't know you, homie. I'm looking for that mentality. We need to get back to that. Because this friend and buddy and dapping players from your other team. You're yeah, a good one. I mean, good one? Screw you. <laughs> That's just me.